Hello, Stallions. My name is John Casamano. I'm an assistant principal here at Green Run High School. Wanted to briefly go over some of our new procedures for our return to face-to-face -face school. This video is going to go over our arrival and departure procedures, what to do as you arrive to school and when you're leaving. So if you are taking a bus, the bus routes have been specifically designed. You were supposed to let the division know that you wanted to take that bus, and then they found out how many people that was, spaced them out, made specific bus stops so that the numbers on the bus would be a little bit lower. That way, there's more space on the bus, and you can sit safely, socially distanced. You do have to wear a mask on the bus. If you do not wear a mask on the bus, after a warning, you will not be allowed to ride the bus any further. So please make sure if you're taking a bus, you're taking safety precautions, wearing a mask, sitting where the bus driver assigns you to sit and make your way to Green Run High School. When the bus arrives at Green Run High School, it will arrive in our bus loop. This is in the front of our building on Dahlia Drive. There's an independence entrance that we call the Green Run Collegiate side or Green Run Collegiate entrance, but the buses come in on the Dahlia side where the gym is, the tennis courts, and our main office. So when you get there, the bus will unload. It could unload closer to the main entrance. It might un unload closer to the, the gym entrance. Whichever entrance you're closest to is the entrance that you'll arrive into. The doors open at 7 a.m. So if you're here before seven, you'll be outside, socially distanced, safely, away from one another. Um, just waiting until that bell rings at seven and then we'll let everybody in. When you do come in, you make sure that you report directly to class. Again, these are, these are division rules that they've asked us to follow. So when you come in, we're gonna have the availability for you to get breakfast. Is that something you need and want? But you're gonna go directly to class. You're not gonna be um, uh, walking around or hanging out outside. You'll go right to class and then you'll get settled uh, and get ready for the day. And again, with the opportunity to have breakfast if you need. If you get here before seven o'clock and the doors aren't open before seven o'clock, again, you'll be able to hang out outside. It's usually very, very nice out there. But of course, there will be times when it's winter time and it's a little bit too cold or if it's raining and it's not um, you know, appropriate for you to be outside, you're going to be able to come inside. We'll ask you to come in the gym entrance. Um, it's on the right of the building as you're looking uh, forward. It says gymnasium on it, so it's, it's pretty easy to find. And you'll be escorted into the gym, and you'll be asked to sit in our bleachers in a socially distanced manner so that you can, you know, be there safely before school, get your stuff out, work on anything that you had from the night before, talk to your friends safely again. Um, but again, when you're in the school, you'll be wearing a mask and you'll be safely distanced from those who are around you. So don't worry if it's too cold or if it's raining, you can come in the building before seven. Uh, but we will ask you to be in the gym supervised uh, far enough away from one another to, to maintain safety. And then that, that bell rings at seven o'clock. Those doors will be open and you'll again exit the gym and go directly to class. Be able to pick up breakfast if you need after seven and then go directly to class. If you're walking or riding a bike, which we strongly encourage, we have a lot of students who do either of those in our walking zone. We've got a uh, what we call a cut uh, behind the school near uh, our football stadium entrance. And we want to make sure that if you are taking that entrance or any entrance that you're walking directly to the front of the building. There are doors all over the building, obviously, um, to allow us to move around. But in the morning, the only door that is acceptable and appropriate for students to come into is that front door, uh, main entrance in the gym, foyer or our main entrance. So when you're coming to school, if you're riding a bike, make sure you ride up to the front. If you're walking, make sure you walk up to the front. We're gonna ask that nobody inside the building open up those doors. Uh, anywhere else except for in the front of the building. So you'll, you'll be asked to walk around uh, to the front. Again, we just want to control the, the safety, make sure everyone's wearing a mask. It's easier to do uh, from these uh, less number of entrances. So uh, we appreciate your cooperation with this. Uh, again, the doors open at seven. So getting here before seven 
Uh, if you do get here before seven for some reason as a walker or a bike rider and the weather outside is not great, you'll be allowed to come into the gym as well. But if you're a walker and a bike rider, just get here right at seven uh, and you will be good to go right inside. Come in, get your breakfast if you need and go directly to your class. Dismissal. Dismissal is pretty simple. Uh, when the bell rings to end the day, you go home. You end the day. Uh, if you are riding a bus, you will go straight back toward those front doors where you were dropped off and you will walk out and you will walk onto your bus again, staying safely distanced from another one another, wearing your masks on the bus ride home. Uh, you'll report to parent pickup. Um, in the same manner when you get out there. You obviously don't have to wear a mask in your parent's car if you don't want to, um, but we do ask that you have your mask on in the building um, until you are out uh, near your parents. And if you're walking or riding your bike home, obviously you exit the building and you get on your way home. We do not have activity buses, those buses that are here a little bit later for sports and activities until December because our sports don't start until December. So there's no loitering, no hanging out after school. I know some people like to meet up with their friends afterwards. It's a, obviously a good spot to, to find your friends since it's school, but with uh, the current situation, we're not gonna be able to have people in the building after school or, or hanging around. Um, uh, without a specific purpose after school. So we do have to make sure right after school when that bell rings, we're getting out of the building so that we can get into that fresh air or get into the bus so that we can get home as soon as possible. Once we have activity buses in December, we'll obviously update the information. But for right now, bell rings, you just make your way on home and um, start your afternoon. That's pretty much all of the information we have for arrival or dismissal. It's pretty simple. We again want to highlight the importance of wearing a mask, uh, maintaining a safe distance uh, from one another, six feet whenever possible. Make sure that you are listening to the adults who are going to be here to help you. If you have a question, that is okay. Your bus driver will be able to answer your questions about the bus. Any of the adults in the building are going to be able to answer your questions about where you can get breakfast and how the day is going to run. So don't be afraid to ask anyone you see. Uh, in the building to, to help you out because that's what we're here for. We really cannot be more excited about having students in the building uh, and getting to see you and meet you. And we hope that you will find it to be a comfortable, uh, safe experience where you can really start to get, get what you need face-to-face uh, -face versus uh, in the virtual setting. We'll still have students who are virtual too. Um, but again, if you are coming and arriving, uh, we do ask that you follow these safety procedures and we cannot wait to see our stallions. Have a wonderful day.